now let us solve this problem a steel rod and two copper rods together support a load of 370 kilonewton as shown in figure the cross sectional area of steel rod is 2500 mm square and of each copper rod is 1600 mm square find the stresses in the rods take E for steel the Young's modulus 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square and for copper it is 1 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square let us solve this problem uh, a steel rod and two copper rods support this load the cross-sectional areas for steel rod and copper rods are given for each copper rod the cross-sectional area is 1600 mm square the corresponding Young's modulus values for the two materials are also given we have to find sigma c and sigma s the stresses in copper each copper and stress stress induced in steel rod now uh, when this load is supported by these rods the length decrease in length is going to be equal in all the rods that is our first condition let us apply that first So, change in length of steel equal to change in length of copper. So, it could be written as strain in steel and strain in copper multiplied by the length. Okay. So, strain is stress by Young's modulus. So when we substitute this length, it is available here. So sigma s by 2 into 10 to the power 5, it is Newton per mm square. So substitute uh, for length 15 plus 10, 25, 250 mm. Sigma c. So, upon calculating that uh, sigma s is 1.2 of sigma c. This is one relation. Other relation, what happens to the load sharing on the rods or load shared by the rods? So this load, if you draw the free body diagram, 370 kilonewton supported by PC, the load shared by and PS, same amount, all are compressive. So the load 2 PC plus PS equal to the total force. This PC sigma C AC plus sigma S AS 370 into 10 to the power 3. So area sigma uh, sorry area Sigma C, we can keep as such, area is 1600 plus Sigma S 1.2, Sigma C, AS 2500. So, we can 
find sigma c <coughs> from this and we could get 59.7 59.7 newton per m of square when you substitute this here we will get sigma s as 71.6 newton per mm square these are the th two values we have to find is it clear fine now i want to slightly extend this problem if the load 370 is not known okay and the limiting value of copper and uh, steel are given for example sigma c is given as 60 newton per mm square sigma s is given as 120 newton per mm square okay so in order to find out the p If you are substituting uh, 60 and finding sigma s, sigma s is going to be 1.2 into 60. 1.2 into 60 equal to 72. Suppose if we substitute, these are the limiting stresses. That, that means it, and it, in any case, the stress should not exceed these values that is what it means so if we substitute 120 and find sigma c it is 120 divided by 1.2 it comes about or the value is 100 newton per mm square which exceeds the 60 given so what you have to do is while using these values you have to be very careful you use sigma c as 60 and the corresponding value of sigma s goes to 72 newton per mm square using that find p is it clear now yeah, I hope you would have understood this. Thank you.